hit that mute button that I was talking about on their rhetoric, you know, you ignore them saying, we're just trying to be tolerant people. We're just trying to be compassionate people. You hit the mute button on that and you see what they're doing. And they're trying to use the law to compel you to violate everything that you believe in every way that you want to act and even your own body. They actually want to codify political correctness. They don't just want it to be like social pressure or cultural pressure. And some of the things that they want to codify are actually terrifying. I mean, I talked, I talked last week uh, at the YAF conference and I talked about that, uh, that transgender woman who. The one in California or Canada. Canada. Yeah. Yeah. Who's suing estheticians who refuse to wax the male genitalia of this transgender woman. And none of the feminists, you know, none of the my body, my choice, no. me too people are standing up and protesting that, even though this man is trying to force a woman to do things to his genitals that she doesn't want to they're do. They're too busy trying to get Mario Lopez fired. Exactly. But none of them are standing up and saying, stop, because they're OK with that political correctness being codified into law because it's government control. And that's their ultimate goal. When you look at how they do this and what they're doing. It really is like it's almost a punch in the gut because you can convince yourself when you work in politics and in the media that emotions run high, that everything's a little exaggerated. But then you read about their actions. You see, you hit that mute button that I was talking about on their rhetoric. You know, you ignore them saying, we're just trying to be tolerant people. We're just trying to be compassionate people. You hit the mute button on that and you see what they're doing. And they're trying to use the law to compel you to violate everything that you believe in every way that you want to act and even your own body.